Chances are you've heard of Figma. You might have even used it already. If you're not familiar, Figma is a tool for designers to mock up and work on their applications, wireframe design and make it look like a real app and also export things like code, images, SVGs, etc., all from one simple browser-based UI. It's a great product. I've used it forever now, but it was always focused on designers, which is kind of funny because I feel like I hear developers talking about it just as much, if not more than design. I think Figma realized that too. Today, Figma revealed that a third of their users are developers, which is interesting because only a third of their users are designers, which means that it's equal shares designers and developers currently using Figma. Instead of just letting those users force their way through the application, it seems like Figma is much more interested in embracing the developers who use it and giving them better solutions for their tools. Some of what Figma released today seems really cool and like it will genuinely help developers, but a lot of it also kind of feels like they're just forcing code buttons all over the UI to make developers feel like they're more part of the experience when to me it just feels like they're stapling on code views. I want to showcase a bit of what they revealed today and talk more about it. Buddy, I, I'm, I'm filming. <laughs> Can you guys hear the purrs? Hey Miles, is it okay if I go back to filming? Figma helps teams move their best ideas forward by bringing design and development closer together. Discover new ways to design, prototype, and build your next great idea. Interesting that they have these three icons for these different things. Design and development finally on the same page. And free through 2023. Interesting. That sounds like they plan to charge in the future. It seems like the goal of most of what Figma released today is to make it easier to go from a finalized design to your code editor with code that Figma helped generate, be it the CSS properties, the style tokens that you've established, or even just the markup itself, like the HTML. Getting that all over is easier than it ever has been. I don't necessarily think it was that hard before, but it is awesome to see Figma working so hard to make it easier to go from Figma to your code base with code that perfectly represents what was done in Figma. Bring your workflow in Figma. Connect designs in Figma to component code and developer documentation through integrations with Jira, Storybook, and GitHub. This is what scares me a little bit, is the effort it takes to tell Figma what the relationship is between this file and this code base and this piece of UI in Figma. Defining and maintaining those relationships is very difficult. And I personally have struggled a lot trying to bind everything such that I don't have to worry about a refactor. Like if we decide to put our button component somewhere else, does this break? I would assume it has to, but I would have to play with it more than now. But this is probably the most interesting part is the Figma VS Code extension, defining a strong relationship between your editor and Figma directly. Even just as a way to isolate a specific frame and have it pulled up inside of my editor, this is very useful. Helping define a relationship between the code in Figma and my code editor is very, very interesting to me. It also runs kind of counter to the direction that Codex is going in. If you're not already familiar, I will admit my bias, Codex is a sponsor. They don't sponsor the channel, but they have sponsored videos in the past and I do really like working with them. But they went all in on making a new IDE that's code first with design, not necessarily added, but as an integrated layer on top of their editor. It feels like Codex's goal was to build on top of strong developer foundations and build the design experience on top, where Figma is going the opposite route. They're starting with their strong design foundations and they're building a developer experience on top. Generally, I've not had a good experience with dev tools being added to things that weren't built for developers, but I'm sure designers feel the same way about design tools being added on top of developer things. It's hard to bridge this gap between developers and designers. It's actually a lot of what my job used to be when I worked at Twitch. So much of my time was spent helping make the design team and the engineering team work together and understand each other. And I see these tools trying to help there, but I don't necessarily see them solving the problem there. Variables now in Figma, this is really nice, but what about Tailwind? <laughs> All of their CSS export stuff, like we can highlight some of it from the video, editor's note, show some of it off here somewhere. It feels like most of that stuff is using vanilla CSS and the CSS properties that it gets from Figma. I don't want to use vanilla CSS. I want Tailwind to be our token system and our design core primitives. And I am scared to see how something like this would work alongside Tailwind. I would give up Figma before I gave up Tailwind. I would give up a lot of things before I gave up Tailwind. I can get Tailwind with a plugin, but does the Tailwind plugin make the default exports export as Tailwind? These are the parts that are missing here. There was a drop down. Ah, very interesting. Much more curious now. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to play with this. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it does look like they're trying to solve the problems that we have as developers. God, I kind of hate this font. The weird cuts and shit are the. What do y'all think? Are you looking for more tools that bridge the gap between design and eng? Do you use Figma already? And what's your experience like using Figma 
as a developer. If you want to hear more about my thoughts on the current state of design tools, especially CSS stuff in web dev, I have a video here that's a deep dive on the current state of all of these libraries, things like Tailwind and other solutions like Material UI. Check it out if you haven't already. Thank you guys as always. Peace nerds.